Good morning, Stephanie Kammerman, the Stock Whisperer, here to tell you the whisper of the day. But before we get to today's whispers, you know it, we got to talk about yesterday's whispers. So yesterday's whispers were hot. AT&T, my uh, number one pick, I was bullish above this 3560 level. It opened up just below it and then shot right on through it, all the way up to about $36.25. That was a fantastic trade. Also, BlackBerry, if you recall, I was bearish on this guy after spotting, uh, selling, refreshing pre-market. Love to watch pre-market activity. It tells me everything. And I saw them selling it at about that uh, 980 level, and you can see it came all the way down. It's still, uh, still going down the hill. Also, I was bearish on gold, which was uh, went down a little bit. We spotted some sell prints on a GLD yesterday. I did call it out on a stock twits and Twitter at that 1310 level. I also spotted some sell prints on GDX as well. So I'm still bearish on gold. The dollar had a really nice pop yesterday. And it looks like it's holding, well, hard to see where it's trading, but around that 25 area. Uh, just keep your eye on 24.91. You can see Arca's bidding it up here. We spotted huge prints a couple weeks ago at that exact area, also 24.94, which was yesterday's low. It came right down there and held. So keep your eye at 91. Also yesterday, I had my eye on PHG after spotting a lot of pre-market activity. If you recall, I drew two lines for you. I was going to be bullish above 27 and bearish below 26.87. You can see it closed week just below that, and she's falling down. Late dark pool sell prints right here, $26.80. And you can see them right in my time and sales window, FADF, that is the dark pool exchange. You can see it every single day right there. All right, so um, we had a fantastic day in the room. There were three traders that really rocked it yesterday. Leslie rocked GDOT. That was a phenomenal trade, which Roxanne called out. Great call, Roxy. Ron had 375% ROI on his GLD puts, but the trader of the day, goes to Wayne, AKA the Cowboy. This guy, look at this trade on AMBA. He got in right at the bell and he doubled his money in like 20 minutes. Had a fantastic call on Texan. And the best part about his trades yesterday is look, not every trade's a winner. He had a couple of losers, but he kept them so small three cents six cents and that is what a great trader does so great trading cowboy all right so what are we watching today well have my eye on a couple of things uh number one s fun i did call it out on uh, stock twits and twitter yesterday look at this huge spike of volume Looks like almost 7.8 million came in down here at $8.95. Saw another print at $9.05. We took this trade overnight in the Java pit. So as long as it remains above those two levels, I'm bullish. But if it does go below that, I will turn bearish on it. Really like it. 9.50 is my first target exit on that. Also, there's a lot of news on Ford, right? So it's definitely getting some pretty good volume this morning. Drew a couple lines. It has nice support around this 1537, 1540 area, also 1550. I do have an upper end target at $15.87 on that. So there could be two good opportunities to jump in here. Also, there were some gigantic prints yesterday on the XLF. I took a lot of pictures, put them out there at $25.19. So, going to be bullish above 25.20, and I'm going to be bearish below the print, below 25.12 on that one. So, come watch me trade along with my amazing traders at the Java Pit Trading Room at www.thestockwhisperer.com. Oh, before I go, GSK. Keep your eye on this guy. This was uh, last week's whisper, and I'm still uh, bullish above um, this morning. Watch that 43. 50 level on this one. We're doing a long-term swing trade on this. Happy trading, everybody.